Today, students are welcome back to West Vigo Elementary. Students were evacuated from the building just last week after discovering mold in two of their classrooms. And as students head back, many of you wanted to know about the health effects of mold. News 10's Jordan Kudish joins us live this morning with those answers. She spoke with the Vigo County Health Department. That's right, Aliyah. I spoke with someone just yesterday here at the health department and I asked, you know, how dangerous can it be being in a role room where mold may be present? And I'm sure that's a question that many of you parents are wondering. That's as you drop your child off at West Vigo Elementary School today. Now, let me share with you exactly what I learned. According to the CDC, mold can vary from building to building. Most of the time, moisture indoors allows for mold to multiply more easily. While the source of the mold is still not determined at West Vigo, crews are still currently working to fix the issue. However, research shows that those who spend time in buildings that have mold may experience respiratory symptoms, nose, throat, lungs, worsening of asthma, and possibly infections. But parents, while this all may sound a bit scary, the health department says it's not as threatening as you may think. Mold sounds very scary, but some people can be around mold and they will have no issues and then other people might you know, have a runny nose or coughing or some skin irritations. It really depends on how sensitive you are to the mold. Now, the health department did reassure me that the school corporation did everything they can to contain the situation. But if you're curious like I am, you can check out our website for more information on mold. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting live from outside of the health department, I'm Jordan Kudish with News 10.